Hello everyone, thank you for joining us today. In this video, we will learn how to scan an indentulous case. We will go over how to properly scan an indentulous arch and the byte scan as well. Let's start with the scan strategy. For many iOS systems, indentulous cases can be challenging. It can be difficult for scanners to capture reliable data due to the lack of tooth structure and anatomy. However, if users execute the correct scan strategy with the MEDIT intraoral scanners, they will be able to successfully capture accurate scan data. Before scanning, it is important to set the Smart Scan Filtering option to Filtering Off. This will help the scanner acquire more of the soft tissue area. After adjusting the filtering option, users can start with the maxilla. Start scanning from the palatine rugae area, where it has distinctive spines and grooves. This will create a good base for the scan data, and we can always go back to this section if we lose our scan path. Next, we will scan along the top of the alveolar ridge on both the left and right side, which will help build up the main data. We can then scan both the buccal and lingual vestibule, and we'll want to capture the frenum as well. Lastly, we can scan the hard palate and connect the data together. Users will want to start scanning from the palatine rugae area and continue to scan the entire hard palate. This can be done by moving back and forth between the left and right alveolar ridge. In summary, users can scan in this order. Now let's scan an actual indentulous case together. Start scanning from the palatine rugae area. Scan along the top of the alveolar ridge on both the left and right side. Then continue scanning the buccal or lingual vestibule and the frenum. And finally, connect the data by scanning the hard palette. Let's move forward and scan the mandible. Please make sure to start the scan where there is distinct anatomy. Creating a good starting point will help users easily scan the case. Users can start by scanning near the retromolar pad and scan along the alveolar ridge. Once you've scanned the entire arch, it will create a stable foundation for the scan data. Finally, scan the buccal and lingual vestibule and the frenum. If users need to add more scan data, they can add additional information afterward. Let's scan the mandible arch for a partially indentulous case. First, start scanning where there is tooth anatomy. Then create the base structure by scanning along the alveolar ridge up until the opposing retromolar pad. Finally, you can complete the scan by capturing the buccal and lingual vestibule. If the scanner loses its path while scanning, bring the scanner back to a distinct reference point, such as the palatine rugae area or the retromolar pad. If you are having issues scanning a specific area, click the Optimize button. The software will delete unwanted noise and help align the scan data. Now let's take a look at how to obtain the occlusion data for an indentulous case. The software normally uses the buccal anatomy to register the bite. Since indentulous cases lack buccal anatomy, users can register the bite in a different way. Users can capture the occlusion data by using a wax rim or a temporary. Let's first take a look at how to obtain the bite using a wax rim. 
users will want to check the occlusal dimensions and the volume of the lips. Next would be to scan the occlusal with the wax rim placed in the patient's mouth. Users must also physically mark the wax rim to distinguish between the upper and lower jaw. This can be done with a pencil or resin. Select a full denture in the form. This way you'll have scan stages for both indentulous jaws and both dentures. First, scan the indentulous maxilla of the patient. In case the scanning has cut off, users must return to areas with distinct anatomy on the already scanned data to create a good starting point and then rescan to connect the new data. If you try to rescan continuously from where the scanning was cut off, it will be hard for the scanner to pick up new data. When scanning flat areas or areas with no distinct parts, it is recommended to move the scanner as slowly as possible to prevent interruptions. Users can also use resin or wax to create marker points that will ease the scanning of the flat areas. Next is the maxillary denture scan stage. In this denture stage, we will scan the wax rim. The indentulous maxilla scan data will be duplicated into this stage. Start scanning the wax rim from the impression surface. The program will automatically align the wax rim data with the data of the indentulous scan. Then repeat the same for the mandible. You will need to use a wax rim for both the upper and lower to obtain the bite registration. Here's how users can capture the bite with a temporary denture. Select a full denture in the form. First, scan the indentulous maxilla of the patient. Next is the maxillary denture scan stage. Start scanning the denture from the impression surface. 
The program will automatically align the denture data with the data of the indentulous scan. To complete the denture scan, users must first capture the impression surface, then the border, and then the polished surface. If the denture is too shiny, you can use spray to ease the scanning process. The Optimize feature will help if errors in the data alignment or scanning interruptions in specific areas persist. Then repeat the same for the mandible. On the screen, you can see the tips for indentulous scanning cases once more.